All right, first and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Most High God, Yahweh. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai, a black man. It's Brother Chief Priest Alazar Banoy, a.k.a. the Grilla Hebrew, and I'm joined with Officer Sakura Banoy. And uh, yeah, um, I'm just doing this quick video. Um, I've done a video like this before. Uh, subscribe to DJ Small's Eyes. He's a culture vulture like uh, DJ Vlad, um, who, you know, interviews various, mostly so called black and Hispanic people. Uh, in the, the hip hop industry in the urban world and and things of that nature. The last time I did the video in response to uh, one of his videos was um, a, a sister named Brax, who's a rapper, and um, her referencing her um, bisexual uh, what is it uh, identity or whatever. Um, this one, uh, same thing. You know, I see the sister uh, to the right. She definitely caught my eye. Beautiful sister, um, who is JT. You know the JT of the City Girls. Um, I've kind of seen a little bit about them, but I never really familiarized myself with them and their music. Um, so I said, let me give a listen to what she's talking about on this interview. Um, then it led me to uh, watch one of their music videos, and I've heard some very frightening lyrics. Um, lyrics that I've never heard before by a female rapper, um, ever. Uh, so they were very startling. Um, so we're going we gonna, to, matter of fact, let's play the video first. Let's, let's just take a listen to what uh, this beautiful sister said. And let's see. Um, and, and it's so crazy because some sisters, they, they're so beautiful. They can be so beautiful on the outside and so wicked and evil on the inside. And, it, and it's horrible. Um, and we, we got to make a change of black, Hispanic, and Native Indian people as Israelites according to the Bible. Let's take a look at what the sister said. You got a problem, ho, a dress. My nigga acting crazy. I'm about to get rid of his baby, his mom. Yeah, hold on, let me, one more time. I want to make sure y'all hear this. My nigga acting crazy. I'm about to get rid of his baby, his mom. <sighs> I couldn't listen past this. You know, I try to give him a chance. Everybody, like, anybody who knows me knows I, um... You know, I'm in tune with a lot of female rappers, this, especially on the scene right now. Get your Cash Dolls, your Asian Dolls, your Cuban Dolls, your uh, uh, Molly Brazy. Um, all these, you know, it's a lot of women out. Not, not to mention your Nicki Minaj, your Cardi B's, whatever. And um, they definitely all spit with what would be considered wicked lyrics pursuant to the Bible. But, I mean, some things are weightier than others. When we're talking about the murder of an innocent child, just like it's nothing, again, one more time. My nigga acting crazy. She just talked about aborting a child like it wasn't nothing and like it was a cool and slick thing to say and like women should be screaming this out and rocking to this in the club, etc. This is disgusting. This is some of the most vile and disgusting and evil thing I've ever seen. And here it is coming from a, a magnificently beautiful creation of God. It's just so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. So let's see what God thinks about you aborting your nigga's baby because he's acting crazy. Right. Read that like, in the laws of God, which is what black and Hispanic people need to save them. Okay. All right. And, and and things like this make it overwhelmingly evident that that, in fact, is true. Okay. Read that. This is Exodus chapter 21, verse 22. If men strive and hurt a woman with child so that her fruit depart from her. Uh, with child. So if she is hit. In her stomach while she is with child and it causes a miscarriage, what happens? And yet no mischief follow, he shall be surely punished, mm -hmm. according as the woman's husband will lay upon him. Read. And he shall pay as the judge determined. Uh-huh. And if any mischief follow, mm -hmm. then thou shalt give life for life. D setting the precedence at what? That child in that womb in the eyes of God is considered a life. That's right. When that spermazoa swims into that egg, that single cell organ, and they become one single cell organism together, that is officially a life, thus saith the Lord God. That's right. And the ending of that life is required at the hand of whoever murders that life. So if you go behind your nigga's back or you spitefully go and murder your nigga's baby or get rid of your nigga's baby, you are a murderer in the sight of God. And it's so unfortunate that we as a people are playing into the hand of our open enemy at the level that we are. And our open enemy, for the record, is the so-called white man as well as all other people. That's right. But we have black men. We out here murdering each other. We out here selling drugs to each other. And we have black women that are 
causing conflicts purposely between black men that lead them to murder each other. And we also have black women who are murdering babies. Though you also do have black men who are encouraging the murder of children, who are abandoning women with children, trying to leave them with no other option as well as funding abortions. So it's it's not the black man's fault or the black woman's fault. It's a collective responsibility of a collective effort of self-destruction on our own people. And it's something that we have to stop. You should never... Number one, think about murdering your child. Number two, murder your child. Or number three, talk about it as if it's a light thing. Right. Murder is a major thing, man. Yeah. All right? And you sisters that's out there thinking about this or have done this, you need to repent and come back to the laws of God because it is disgusting. And the most high God is going to destroy all murderers. That's right. You murder a child before it even has a shot, you are a filthy, filthy whore, man. I can't say nothing, nothing else but that. So you sisters need to repent, man. But I want to play this part of the interview because it's not like she just said it like it was cute because she makes a point to what she represents in her music being truthful about her. All right? Uh, and matter of fact, I want to just get this scripture real quick. Just to um, just to show you and illustrate just how evil, how evil it is to, to murder a, a child, you know, an unborn child who doesn't deserve death. This is the book of uh, Psalm, chapter one twenty seven, verse three. It says, "Lo, children are in the heritage of Yahweh, and the fruit of the womb is his reward." So you're literally killing a reward from the Most High God. Okay, verse four: As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Verse eight, verse five, rather. It says, "Happy is the man that have his quiver full of them; they shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate." So the point is, you're killing a, a child. You're literally rejecting. A, you're rejecting a, a reward that the Most High God has bestowed upon you. Okay, you got someone, uh, you know, like one of the matriarchs, Sarah, who was praying to the Lord to have a child, right? And you got these women going around and killing children. Yeah, man, and and. and you don't realize how it's decimated our population and thus in turn decimated our resources. Because we're continually minorities and the growth of the black population has been stagnated versus the growth of other uh, ethnic or, uh, uh, demographics here in this country is because of the propensity that black women have at aborting children. There was a billboard that went up in New York City that says that the most dangerous place for a black child is its mother's womb. And that's a, that is... A very unfortunate circumstance, and it needs to stop. And propagating it through music like this is even more filthy and disgusting. It should never happen. Ever, ever, ever. Shouldn't be talked about. Shouldn't certainly be joked about because that's a life. That's right. That is a potential child. Not, not a potential. That is a child of God. That is a potential. You don't understand. People wonder where the great black leaders have gone. You know where they've gone? Into Planned Parenthood dumpsters. Right. Because sisters thought like you did. Our brothers were being irresponsible. Again, we're not putting the blame on one or another. It is a collective thing here. But this is disgusting. You get that in wisdom. Get that in wisdom real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 5, or verse 4. It says, um, Whom thou hatest were doing most odious works of witchcrafts and wicked sacrifices, and also those merciless murderers of children. You see that? Merciless murderers of children. God hates merciless murderers of children. Aborters. Read. And devourers of man's flesh mm -hmm. and the feast of blood. You see that? Most high God dislikes that. I'm going to go here to the book of Sirach now. The 25th chapter. Go start at um, 19. Come on, let's look at Sirach chapter 25 and verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. And that, for her to say that, my nigga acting crazy, I'm about to get rid of his baby, so because you don't like the way your man is acting, you're going to murder his offspring. That is the most, there, there is not a rap lyric more evil than that, that I've heard. I've heard about niggas doing all kind of killing niggas' mamas, niggas' grandmas, niggas, but to say that because you do not like the way that that man is acting, a man that you allegedly love, you're going to murder his child? There's nothing more evil than that. Huh. Go ahead. It says, let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. And you, and that's why this same sister that said that, she's locked up in jail. Huh. So I hope the sister repents. And I might look at information. I might send a kite to this sister. Right. All right? To encourage her repentance. Because this is the, the, the 
part that's so beautiful about the coming of who the world calls Christ, a black man whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, that died for blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, the children of Israel. It's so beautiful because he gave us an opportunity to repent. So even though this sister said this disgusting line, she still has the door of repentance open for her. And the gospel needs to be preached to her so she can understand the error of her ways and turn from it. And Lord willing, she will. But if not, this little jail sentence she's going through is, is going to be the least of her worries. Huh. All right. Go ahead. Uh, verse 20. It says, as the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the aged, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man. Keep going. Stumble not. And you told me he acting crazy, but you giving him hell. Right. Right? Go, 21. Huh. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. Stumble not. At, and that's the see, first thing I said. I said, damn, she's fine as hell. But then I, I heard her out. And what does he say, matter of fact, so like, I didn't even play this. Hold on. And when I say recently, I mean the last year, two, three years. Female rappers toting guns in their music videos. <laughs> I won't do that. Uh, you see the way she looked at that? Like, it was crazy that these women are toting guns. Like, uh, 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 I know Rocky Bad, Asian Doll, Cuban Doll, Molly Brazy, they all heavy with toting pistols in their music videos. And she looked at it like it was crazy. No, it's crazier to murder you. I've never, listen, I've listened to all of their music. I ain't never heard them just talk about killing somebody baby like it wasn't. Enough. Never even heard them reference murdering somebody baby. Um, unless it's a pain out of acting out of scene, robbing a bank or something like that. But me, far as promoting me parenting I won't do that because I won't do that in real life so I won't do that on camera but hey whatever works for the person like if a female rapper feel like they want to tell the gun but the point was she said because she wouldn't do that in real life she wouldn't portray it on camera and therein lies the problem but she would portray on camera uh, uh, murdering somebody's baby showing what that she would do that in real life that's something that she's all about that she don't have a problem with right which is disgusting, which is even what's, what's worse, to toting a pistol around? Because a lot of them women that's toting a pistol around, they're not shooting no damn body. Yeah. And that's her point. They're not shooting. What's, what's worse, faking like you're trying to shoot somebody or talking about murdering somebody? Yeah. A baby at that, a helpless child that God has put in your womb for you to care for, for you to protect, for you to ensure that it reaches the, uh, the world yeah. to be the best that he can be. What's worse? So start back at 21. Okay, this is Sirach 25 and 21. Uh -huh. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. You could easily, again, this is fine. You could easily have stumbled at her beauty. But you got to hear these women out. Because a lot of these women are what the Bible calls light women. Right? Go ahead. Okay, and desire her not for her pleasure. That's right. You see what I'm saying? You got to get into the mind of this sister. This is the sister that when you acting up, quote unquote, in her mind, by her standards, she'll kill your child. She's not the sister for you, man. Period. You know? These are the preliminary conversations brothers need to begin to have to gauge the mentality and the mindset of these women. Go ahead. Come on, verse 22. Uh, read, skip to 24, yeah. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, uh -huh. and through her we all died. From starting conf from number one aborting you, from starting conflicts mm -hmm. that cause brothers to kill each other. Yep. What is that old saying? Women get horny and niggas get killed? You see what I'm saying? That's how it goes. You have any other precepts out? Yeah, I got. A, I just got this article, and it's, I'm sure brothers are familiar with it. Um, but it's just such an alarming. I mean, when I first read this, I, I was just in such shock and disgust. This is from CNSNews.com. It says, uh, in 2012, there were more black babies killed by abortion. The number is 31,328 in New York City than were born. <laughs> 24,758. So by around close to 8,000, around 7,000 uh, more babies were aborted than were born in the city, uh, in New York City. And the Disgusting. black children killed comprised 42.4% of the total number of abortions in the Big Apple. Almost half. But we make up, what, about 13% of this po uh, of the country's population? It's more in New York. It's, it's higher because, I mean, it's New York. So. But it can't be any higher than what? I mean... There's like a million black people in New York. Let me just, I think. Let me just look, look it up real quick. quick. NYC demographics. I mean, that's it ain't fifty percent. I'll tell you, it ain't forty two percent. That's it's probably closer to like twenty five uh, or thirty. Twenty five percent black. Twenty five percent black. Okay, that makes perfect and total sense. That's crazy. So almost twenty more percent than you than know. it than represented. That is filthy and disgusting. You need to repent. And you too. Filthy man. Repent, stop murdering babies. With that, again, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, and say shalom. shalom.